This is Pastor Steve with a word for today, and the word for today is thanksgiving. You know, we're told several places in Scripture, oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. So we ought to be looking at that goodness of God and say, wow, God is good for, to us. He's, he's good. He was good to us before the pandemic. He's good for us during it, and He will, will be good to us uh, after it's done and gone. But, you know, first of all, I think we ought to give thanks directly to God. Uh, he is the one who's responsible for that goodness. We ought to, if you're a believer, you ought to, uh, first of all and foremost, be thankful for salvation that he's offered through his son so that we can have peace in our lives. We can uh, have forgiveness and, and, and we can know uh, that we have eternal life. Uh, but there's so many things, you know, it's like he's promised to meet our needs and, and he does. You ought to be thankful for the clothing that you have and for the food that you have to eat and, and, and for the shelter that you have over your head. And there's, again, there's just so many things and so many blessings. He not only gives us, uh, provides for our needs, but he also uh, gives us a lot of our wants. But not only should we uh, be thankful uh, directly to him, but we ought to live lives of thanksgiving. Others know whether we're thankful or not. If we go around complaining all the time, it's like, well, they're saying, we don't want to serve the God they're serving. You must not do a whole lot for him. <clears throat> we don't want to li live the lives that they're living. They're, those are miserable lives. But if we live the lives of thanksgiving, it's attractive. It draws other people to our God. So I hope each and every day, <clears throat> when you wake up, the first thing off of your lips should be, God, thank you for another day to live and another day to serve you. God bless.